Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're going to use these tarot cards to do a what the heck check on Posh Beckham, David Beckham. Y'all know what this is. Let's go. Okay, so you guys have asked me for a video on Posh and David before. And I was always just like, well, okay, it's on the list. But, you know, today they're kind of trending, so might as well. So apparently Posh was doing an interview where she said, like, David and I both grew up in working class families. And he actually interrupted the interview when he saw that. He was, like, apparently in another room and he heard her saying that. And he was just like, uh, what did you say? What? Like, he corrected her. And then he kind of put her on the spot and was like, what kinds of vehicle did your daddy drive you to school in? And she was just, she did that thing where like somebody asks you a direct question and like you, they try to kind of wiggle away and like, well, that's not real. What kinds of car? And she's like, well, that's not right. It's not really. And it's like, what kinds of car did your daddy drive you to school in? And it's just like, I was getting annoyed during the exchange, not at him, at her. Cause it's just like, dude, just answer the question. Like it's pretty direct. And she was like, in the 80s, my father drove a Rolls Royce. And it's like, okay, so like, please do not try to masquerade as working class, you know? And that I could see would be particularly irritating to a spouse who actually did grow up working class. And it's like, hey, don't try to like hide under me for clout. Like, I grew up working class. I had a very different childhood than you did. So please don't try to ride with that. Like, we're not gonna do that. It's almost as if people are trying to borrow the challenges that you've overcome and like kind of like cruise with them, like try to skate. So I, I'm sure that they have a strong marriage. Actually, I'm not sure. We're going to find out. But I can see why that would be irritating. If you've ever watched this channel before, you'll know that like I don't really talk about my family much. And that's because I have a very colorful childhood. I think that's a very nice way of putting it. And so if I had a partner that tried to kind of like skate on that, you know, to accomplish some sort of like image or perspective of himself in some performative way like oh you know well Lennox and I both grew up in very dysfunctional households and like I happen to know that his household was the opposite that it was all like puppies and June Cleaver well, that's such a dated reference but like puppies and apple pie and family time like I would have absolutely corrected him so I think you guys know what I'm talking about anyway I mean of course you know what I'm talking about but you know I think I'm expressing myself. So anyway, I took a look at their astrological charts. It's crazy that they've been together as long as they have because like n there's no real obvious compatibility or synastry really jumping out at you. You know, like there's a little bit here, a little bit there. You're, you could just kind of shrug and you're like, oh, I don't know. So Posh has a very balanced immediate chart. So she's an Aries sun. Cancer rising, uh, moon in Aquarius. So, I mean, moon doesn't feel great in Aquarius. That's a Saturn ruled sign. It's an air sign, very analytical sign. Uh, cancer rising, she has children, she has multiple children. People with cancer in their immediate chart often have children in their life in some way, through traditional ways, like parenting or other ways, you know, like nannying. She has a really interesting benefic conjunction in her ninth house, which is the house of travel, spirituality, you know, long trips abroad. Uh, she has Venus and Jupiter in her ninth house, but I, I mean, I guess the Spice Girls caused her to travel a great deal, you know, throughout the world. I, I wasn't aware she was under a spiritual journey. So if you look at David Beckham, on the other hand, that man's all earth. His immediate chart is all earth. I was just like, gosh, how do you stand it? So Taurus sun, Taurus rising, moon and Capricorn. All right. So one point of compatibility is that they both have their moons or their emotional processors in a uh, in a Saturn ruled sign. So I would imagine they're not the most ooey gooey people about like processing their feelings and probably also their Britishness prevents them from having a lot of ooey gooey you hurt my feelings when you said that types of talks. What's interesting is that like their ascendants, so Cancer and Taurus sextile each other. And so a Cancer ascendant is going to be sextiling his Taurus ascendant, which is a harmonious aspect. It's something like huge, but you're like, oh, okay, that's nice. What's interesting is that their sons are, don't have any interaction 
and you know Aries comes right before Taurus Taurus comes right after Aries and also kind of similarly with their moons their moons don't have any direct interactions Capricorn comes right for Aquarius. Aquarius comes right after Capricorn. It's, it's interesting. David Beckham has his Venus in Gemini and he's got his ascendant and his mid, mid heaven in a trine. So there's boom, there's his fame. There's his public career. The degree of the ascendant making a nice harmonious aspect to the most public, prominent, you know, public image, famous part of the chart, the mid heaven. So I was just like, oh, okay. It's interesting, but like really there's nothing here that jumps out at you like other charts where with other people where we'll see like obscene levels of compatibility. So it is kind of one of those charts where you just kind of shrug. So not horrendous, but also like not great. So let's see what's going on in their marriage, okay? All right, so posh David, posh David. Help me are hurting the situation and where's the energy heading? Okay, so belch, posh's external vibe towards David. Hmm, okay, so we got the Page of Swords in reverse. So this could be more topical. Um, so Page of Swords upright is, you know, molly ability, mental agility, you know, jumping through the hoops, riding with the waves, coasting, uh, making adjustments in your strategy and how you react to things. So when this card comes up in reverse, either like you've had to do that and you feel destabilized or you refuse to do that. So I wonder if this has something to do with the aftermath of like the fact that she's trending now because he like schooled her. I mean, when he interjected and inter interrupted her interview, like, she smiled. It was a reactive smile. Like, people don't always smile when they're happy, of course, you know. It can be a defense mechanism for some people, but they'll, like, smile. Yeah. But, I mean, I did notice she smiled. So, something's not great. Either she's just not at peace right now, or she's just out and out destabilized, okay, given recent events. Okay, interesting. So, David's external vibe towards Posh. Okay, more swords, 10 of swords in reverse. So as we know, this is a card that means healing after a great disappointment or a, a brouhaha or the inability to heal. You know, the swords here are either slipping out of the body or the person is being skewered like a cocktail weenie. So what's going on? Like, has she blown up at him? Because like when these stories trend, we can't forget that like people are reacting behind closed doors, you know? People are having their own reactions. Uh, is she so sensitive? It just makes me wonder. I'm just kind of like, huh. So far the swords, the swords are of the mind. So these people aren't at peace right now. Like now either they're bickering about like Pasha, the story trending on social media or him interrupting her interview and schooling her was just like the symptom of a larger problem, like a larger, really more destabilized trend in their relationship. So. Posh's internal vibe towards David. This will be very telling. Okay, well, I mean, this is definitely positive. I mean, we got the magician, which is like the ability to manifest whatever you want in a given situation. So endless possibilities, limitlessness. This person has all the tools that they need to create. And they have the green light from the spirit world. And they're pulling down information and magic, you know, from up above. Very positive. Not a lovey-dovey card. Not a deeply feeling card. It could also be a card of like, I'm going to whip this man into shape. Or like, I'm going to whip this relationship into shape. Okay, so David's internal vibe towards Victoria. Okay, very, very different. So we got the High Priestess in reverse. So you know, if you watch this channel, you know what this means. This is a big red light from the universe. These two cards together, excuse me, like, can you get worse cards for a relationship spread? I don't know if we've ever had cards as bad as these for a relationship spread. So very bad. Thumbs down from the universe, thumbs down from the heart, hard pass. So they're married. I'm based on this. I'm wondering if like the marriage is actually a thing. Like, I wonder if it's like a fake marriage now, like is what I'm wondering based on this. Like, cause here's the thing, Taurus folk, they're resistant to change. If they're not happy in a situation, then they'll just get comfortable being unhappy. They're just like, well, this is it now. Like, I'd rather just stay with this unhappiness than, you know, rock the boat. So very, very, very interesting. Okay. What is helping or hurting the situation? Uh, two of wands. Like, where have we seen this before, right? So upgrading, trading out the old wand for the new wand. So in a, within the confines of a marriage, I'm wondering if so, one of them is talking to someone else. 
That's absolutely where my mind goes. So true, if you want to be really nice or positive, like we could say that like maybe they're leveling up the marriage, maybe they're in counseling, maybe they're seeing like a professional to level up out with the old and with the new. But usually these represent people, you know, trading up, trading up the old one for a new one and locking that old one in place against the parapet, you know, screwing it in there so it doesn't try to come bouncing into the future. Very interesting. I mean, I can't imagine we would ever see a divorce from them. I mean, I mean, these two, like, I just feel like they would just have an open marriage, you know, and just do everything on the low. Okay, where's the energy heading? See? See? So, we got the devil card in reverse. So, it's like the cards are reading my mind and I'm reading theirs, or whatever that means. <laughs> So this is usually the most powerful reversal of the deck, and usually it can mean like a huge transformation in a relationship, like when you guys go through hell together, come out the other side, and the upside down chain here mimics the rainbow from the Ten of Cups. So this is like overcoming a lot of your stuff. So that is a possible interpretation of this card, but this can also mean, I've seen this come up when two people just resign themselves to be together. When they're like, okay, you play video games and withhold sex, but you know what? Like, you buy me really nice presents, so let's just do this. Like, I've definitely seen this with two people who aren't really quite happy in their situation, but they're happy enough, they're happy enough that they can just resign themselves to be together. Okay, so that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below. What do you think of these two? Do you think they have an open marriage? Do you think that they're like friends and business partners and like no longer in love and that they're just more of an institution of like Posh and David, Victoria and David Beckham? So let me know. Put it in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And as always, we'll do this again.